Hi guys and welcome back to Nicolan's Tech Tips and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your processor and overclock it your CPU without using your BIOS. First of all what you're going to want to do is open system configuration. Click open and go on boot. Now at the bottom under the text box click advanced option. Next click on number of processors and change it from one to the max number you have this basically allows your windows to have use all four cores when booting up next what you're going to want to do is restart your computer i'm going to pause the video and be right back Okay, now that I'm done the restart, what you're going to want to do is open Google and search for Quick CPU. Click on the first word link from Coder Bag, scroll down, and look for the download button. Okay, here, at the very bottom, as you can see, there's a 64-bit installer and the 32-bit installer. Let's download Quick CPU 64-bit. Exit the ad, and it should download a zip file. What you're going to want to do is extract all. And now... Run the dot MSI. You can install the default location, but I'm going to change where I install it. Oh wait, unfortunately I can't uninstall this on another drive, so I'm just going to install it in the default location. Click next and install. This is the UAC, the administrator, just click yes. And check launch quick CPU, make sure it's checked, and click finish. Again, click yes. And now, it should be starting to load. There. Wait for it to finish loading, and I'm going to full screen this. Oh, not realize. I mean, oh wait, you can't full screen it. Okay. So, as you can see, this is the clock of my CPU, and it also tells me the temperature and utilization. There's a bunch of settings you can check out here, and it's really useful. Like, you can even see a, gra a bunch of graphs. And there's also advanced CPU settings, but we're not going to get into that for today's video. This this advanced settings is more adv like it's basically advanced CPU um, settings. What you're going to want to check is core poking and turbo boost. As you can see, turbo boost is set to 60%. Now we want to increase that, so we're going to bring it all the way to 100%. Also, performance bring that also to 100%. Click apply and click OK. Click refresh and now your CPU should be running a lot faster. As you can see, it's still running at 2.5 gigahertz, but the max amount of um, clock speed it can would now be increased due to the fact that we have Turbo Boot installed. You could check out the other settings like high performance. Click apply to that. Or any of these power memory settings but I'm not gonna um, really care about that today let me just exit out of this video and once again you're gonna need to restart so I'm gonna pause the video and be right back 
Now that I finished the restart, we could check out Task Manager and see our specs. Control Shift Escape and go to Performance. As you can see, the disk is at um one. It's it's it, it's still running at 2.90 gigahertz, which is the base speed of my plot. I mean 2.60 gigahertz, which is the base speed of my processor. <clears throat> but it's only at 9% utilization. So that means when it gets all the way to 100%, it would still be very fast. And you might have noticed my RAM is also um, really low, which means my, my when I'm using a lot of RAM, my computer would be extremely fast. So check out the two videos from before this uh, to see how to do this. That's all I have for today's video, so make sure you subscribe, hit the bell icon, and like. Share it with anyone you think would like this video, and I also want to say that I released merch a few days ago. So if you're interested, definitely check out the description below and buy our merch if you want to support our channel, of course. So, thanks for watching!